In today's video, we'll be covering quick tips with NPM. After installing Node and NPM freshly, you'll typically try to install global package and get this EA access failure. We'll want to correct this. NPM comes with a nice configuration file called .npmrc that you can locate in your home folder. Currently, mine's empty. What we're going to do is add this line having a prefix home .npm package so that we can install our global packages within our home location. We'll try our npm global install once again and success. No more EA access issue. You can see here that it's now placing the npm packages right in .npm packages right within my username, uh, my home folder I should say. So the node modules that are listed here for Firebase tools, you can install multiple within this directory. Let's go ahead and try Ionic next. So we'll do npm install dash g Ionic. Now if we check our .npm packages folder once again, in the bin directory we'll find both Firebase and Ionic are listed. For this next part, we are going to look at the init side of NPM. Basically, we're going to set up all the configuration settings that would allow us to easily set up a project in NPM without having to go through the hassle of typing each one of these out. By setting author.name, author.email, URL, license, and you could actually put some more, but that's kind of where I'll leave it at. I always use the semantic versioning in my startups. So that's why I've placed here. Taking a look at our npmrc configuration file, we can see now that on top of our prefix, we also have added these init configurations. We'll just move into a new file and create a directory, and then we can call npm init, and you'll see some of these defaults will actually come through. If you'd like to skip this altogether, you can just put dash dash enter so that NPM runs through this silently. Now for one of my favorite NPM config tricks, you can actually default the log settings. So first in our sample, we'll install Express and kind of watch and see what happens here. You'll notice it's going through all the silly items as it updates. We're going to change that effect by default just by running the command npm config set log level equals warn. Now you can run it again and see what the messages actually create. It's the same as it was except for the little informational notice. This one isn't too bad. What we can also check out is different settings, so like a silly setting, and run it again. This goes crazy and shows you everything if you ever wanted to see it going on in NPM's world. You'll even see when I update it back to warm, that silly actually shows you what it did during that warm level setting. If you're feeling adventurous, you can actually change warn to silent. I don't recommend this as it actually pulls out all the warning informational messages, but it's definitely cleaner. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe below so that AJ can keep on programming.